Hey guys, back with another pedal modification. Today I've got another Boss DS1 distortion. And the last time I did a JCM mod on it, which I really enjoyed. And this time I'm going to start with the JCM mod. I'm also going to add the, um, I think it's Jack Orman's uh, Fat Mod to this. So I've heard they go very well together. Um, so if you want to know how to do the JCM mod, just, uh, I don't know, maybe click here and I'll put a link to my previous video where I did the JCM mod on one of these. All the information is there in the description so you can uh, start with the JCM mod and the uh, fat mod for this is very very simple two parts um, uh, both of them are resistors uh, R6 you're going to swap out for a 150k and R9 is going to be swapped out for a 1k that's it so um, yeah I'm gonna open this up and uh, perform those mods so stay tuned and we'll get to it okay guys so here's the guts of the pedal now if you just want to do the um, Jack Orman fat mod for this um, all you need to do right here R6 uh, you swap uh, take R6 out swap that for a 150k ohm resistor and then right here behind it R9, uh, just above this capacitor here, change that one out for a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and that's it for the fat mod. As for the JCM, you need to look for a few more things, and I guess I'll show you them here because I didn't do that in my previous video, even though everything's in the description. So um, you start with, okay. Uh, this capacitor right here, C3, change that out to a 33 nanofarad, or 0.033 UF. And then you're going to go to this resistor here, R17. Swap that for a 15 kilo ohm resistor. This electrolytic here, C2, and this film cap C5, this electrolytic back here C8, and this electrolytic here C9. All four of those are going to be changed to 1UFs. Um, I like to use the monolithic ones because they're smaller, easier to fit. R13, this little resistor back behind this electrolytic, change that one to a 1K resistor. And then right here, in pretty much the center, those two diodes there, D4 and D5. D4 you're going to swap out for a 1N4148, or sorry, two 1N4148s in series. And D5 is going to be two 1N4001 in series. And that's the JCM mod. So I'm going to make those changes, and then I'll be back when I'm finished. Alright guys, so we're all finished. So for the fat mod, we've taken, um, let's see here, R9, right back here behind that cap. It's now 1K. And R6 here um, is now 150K. I used two resistors because I didn't have an actual 150K resistor, so I piggybacked 100K and a 56K and with the tolerances it worked out to about 151k so that's pretty damn close so that's it for the fat mod and the JCM mod we have uh, 33NF in C3 here R17 way up here is now a 15k um, C2 Right there, uh, C9 here, C8 up here, and C5, if I can find it, or 
right there are all now 1UF monolithics. R13, which is way up in this corner here, is now 1K. <clears throat> and D4 and D5 tucked down here. If I could separate them a little. There. So <clears throat> D4 is now 2 1N4148 in series. And D5 is 2 1N4001 in series. And uh, that's it. So JCM and fat mods done. Now let's uh, put this puppy back together, plug it in, and see how it sounds. That's it for the uh, DS1, JCM and Fat Mods. Sounds pretty good. Um, the only thing that surprised me was how little gain there is in the distortion knob until it gets like up here and then it gets crazy. But it's really nice sounding. I, I really like the combination of the two mods on this one. So let me know what you think in the comments and um, try it out for yourself. I recommend it. So thanks for watching guys. Take it easy.